$15,000 for a Tesla? Elon just confirmed targets that could flood America with 2 million Model 2s by 2029. Legacy automakers are bleeding while Tesla's planning the impossible, undercutting every gas car while scaling faster than anyone expected. Here's what shocks. Fremont's retrofitting 1,800 robots for 60-second builds. Texas expanding to 15 million square feet. Mexico building 2,500 kilometers of rail lines. This isn't vaporware. It's industrial warfare. Can Tesla deliver millions without delays? Or is this the biggest automotive gamble ever? Let's dive right in. While everyone's distracted by robo-taxi reveals and Optimus demos, Tesla's been quietly building something far more dangerous. Fremont's production floor is being torn apart right now for 1,800 new robotic stations engineered for one thing, 60-second cycle times per vehicle. These aren't just faster workers. They eliminate the human error margins that have killed every ambitious EV launch in history. Running 24-7 without brakes, without quality drops. These systems target 75,000 units from Fremont alone in Q1 2026. Not prototypes. Production vehicles rolling to customers. The real shock comes from Texas. The facility's expanding to 15 million square feet while manufacturing 4,680 battery cells on site. This vertical integration cuts transport delays by 40% and eliminates the supply chain gamble legacy automakers are still playing. By mid-2026, Texas pushes 250,000 units annually, with 500 vehicles daily. Ford and GM are begging battery suppliers for allocation, while Tesla simply makes their own. Then, Mexico enters the equation. Nuevo León goes operational Q4 2026 with 400,000 units per year, tariff-free access to U.S. markets, and 2,500 kilometers of dedicated rail infrastructure. This cuts Florida shipping times by two weeks compared to overseas imports, preserving battery integrity in humid climates. It's operational detail that sounds mundane until you realize it means cells arrive fresher, perform better, and last years longer. Tesla's not just building cars. They're engineering the entire logistics ecosystem around them. Traditional automakers need three to five years from concept to production. Tesla's compressing that to 12 months. Pilot builds launch Q1 2026. Full U.S. volume hits Q2. And global integration completes by Q4. This timeline would make Toyota engineers question reality. But Tesla's already proving it works. They're stockpiling 100,000 battery packs as buffers right now, ensuring lines never stall waiting for components. The 98% on-time metrics during Cybertruck's 2025 ramp wasn't luck. It's operational discipline that borders on obsession. What this means for buyers is radical. U.S. customers face two- to four-month wait times, half the industry average and dramatically better than Model Y's 2024 delivery windows. Localized hubs in California and New York each stock 10,000 units for rapid distribution. The April 2026 unveil synchronizes perfectly with production readiness, avoiding the 2023 disaster when 50,000 unsold units crushed margins and confused buyers. Supply chain resilience backs this up. Dual sourcing contracts cover 80% of components with 1.2 million motors annually secured, maintaining 90% uptime even during chip shortages. Competitors managed 70% in 2025. That 20-point gap separates companies that ship vehicles from those that ship apologies. For California residents 65 and older, where EV rebates total $10,000,
This execution drops effective costs below $22,000, with insurance premiums 25% lower than gas equivalents thanks to proven safety tech. These aren't projections. They're actuarial calculations based on real collision data. Now we reach the number making Detroit panic. Under $15,000 base price by 2026 to 2027. Achieved through $55 per kilowatt hour battery costs from vertical integration. Tesla manufactures cells, packs, and vehicles under one roof, yielding 28% margins at scale without subsidies. This isn't promotional pricing that vanishes when tax credits expire. It's sustainable profit at half the cost of average compact gas cars, currently at $28,000. The economics get more compelling when you examine total ownership. Price parity cuts five-year costs by 22%, translating to $8,000 in energy and maintenance savings based on EPA calculations at 15,000 miles annually. Texas seniors running long-haul drives save $1,500 yearly. Real money that dramatically impacts fixed-income households. Meanwhile, 290-mile range from 4.2 miles per kilowatt-hour efficiency eliminates anxiety for New York commuters. Data from 2,500 prototypes shows 15% better real-world performance than competitors, with gaps widening in cold weather where battery chemistry truly matters. This pricing strategy doesn't just compete with gas cars, it makes them economically irrational. When the affordable option performs better, lasts longer, and costs less to operate, consumer choice fundamentally shifts. Legacy automakers built their entire business models around $35,000 to $50,000 vehicles with comfortable margins. Tesla's about to collapse that pricing structure, forcing GM and Ford into 12 to 18% price cuts their balance sheets can't absorb without hemorrhaging cash. Tesla's targeting 35% of the global sub $30,000 EV segment by 2029, a market forecasted at 7 million units. The production ramp from 300,000 in 2027 to 600,000 annually mirrors Model Y's trajectory, but accelerates 35% faster through optimized supply chains proven at Texas and Berlin. Context matters here. Tesla delivered 2.4 million total vehicles in 2025, with Model Y alone hitting 1.2 million in 2024. The 2 million Model 2 target isn't speculative. It's based on physical capacity under construction right now. This volume triggers cascading market effects. A 1.8 million unit resale ecosystem emerges by 2031 at $14,000 average prices, creating affordable EV access for buyers who'd never consider new vehicles. California's 65-plus demographic turning over vehicles every six years suddenly has electric options in their budget range. Berlin's 2027 contribution of 200,000 units yearly uses firmware-enhanced precision welding pushing yield rates to 95% virtually eliminating the scrap-related slowdowns that have been production's hidden killer. The implications reach beyond Tesla. When one manufacturer achieves 40% year-over-year growth, implying $55 billion in added revenue by 2030, while legacy competitors face margin compression and volume loss, the entire automotive hierarchy restructures. Suppliers, dealers, and manufacturing infrastructure all calibrated for a high-price EV world suddenly face obsolescence. Price parity drives 55% penetration in entry-level markets through vertical integration competitors can't replicate without rebuilding supply chains from scratch, a process requiring 5 to 10 years they don't have. For families and first-time EV buyers across California, Texas, Florida, and New York, 
This represents something more fundamental than cheaper transportation. It's proof that sustainable choices don't require sacrifice, that environmental responsibility aligns with economic logic, and that doing the right thing doesn't demand financial heroics. When sub-$15,000 EVs deliver 290-mile range with two- to four-month delivery windows, the internal combustion engine stops being a practical choice and becomes a legacy preference people maintain out of habit rather than reason. So can Tesla actually pull this off? The evidence says yes, but not through promises. It's the 1,800 robots already installing, the 100,000 battery packs stockpiled, the 98% on-time metrics already proven. This isn't a gamble. It's industrial takeover disguised as a car launch. Here's what that means. We're watching the exact moment EVs stop being alternative and become inevitable. When the affordable option is superior, markets don't shift gradually. They collapse and rebuild overnight. Legacy automakers have 18 months before $15,000 Model 2s flood driveways and they can't respond fast enough. But this is just the beginning. If Tesla hits these targets by 2027, what happens when competitors replicate this? We could see sub-$10,000 EVs by 2030 through competition and scale alone. Global transportation infrastructure is about to fundamentally transform. My question for you, when EVS become cheaper than used gas cars, what happens to oil demand? To gas stations? Drop your thoughts below. This goes way deeper than one vehicle. This is tech revolution. We break down technological shifts before they arrive. You know where to find us for the next one. The future's not coming. It's being built on factory floors right now. Tesla has done the unthinkable. The long-rumored $11,595 Model 2 is finally here, and it's changing everything. This isn't just a cheaper EV. It's a car that slashes ownership costs by over 50%, rewrites what affordable means, and could shake the entire auto industry. But how did Tesla pull this off? And what's the shocking truth behind this deal? Let's dive right in. The $11,595 Tesla Model 2 isn't just a new car. It's a message, a declaration that the future everyone's been waiting for is no longer a rumor. It's parked right in front of us. And while most people see an affordable electric car, Tesla sees something far greater, the key to complete market domination. When Elon Musk first mentioned a low-cost Tesla years ago, few believed it would ever happen. The economics didn't make sense. Batteries were expensive, labor was high, and the market was saturated with cheap gas cars. Yet here it is, the Model 2, real, functional, and ready to disrupt everything we thought we knew about electric mobility. What makes it truly shocking isn't just the price tag, it's how Tesla managed to crush costs without cutting corners. The Model 2's body is made using gigacasting, a process that molds massive sections of the frame in one piece. This eliminates hundreds of individual welds, reduces production time by nearly half, and lowers material waste. Every piece of engineering serves one purpose, efficiency. Tesla didn't simply build a smaller car, it reinvented how cars are made. And that's the genius behind it. By slashing complexity, Tesla didn't just make a cheap car, it made an efficient factory. Every Model 2 rolling off the line is proof that the company's secret weapon isn't just technology, it's scale. The more they build, the cheaper they get, and the harder it becomes for any competitor to catch up.